if you think ai image generation cannot get any better then you are wrong because today we have got a new model called muse from google research team that is a new text to image generation model on an entirely new model architecture unlike stable diffusion which is a diffusion based model this muse is a masked generative transformers model so before we get into the details of what is muse and how is it different from stable diffusion i would like to highlight an important distinction here is this is just on a paper so this is not a model or the model weights not have been shared online so whatever we see whatever we learn about it this is purely from the eyes and lens of what google research team has got it published so this is not a, an open source model it the weights have not been shared there is no details around when the weights would be shared that is a quite sad thing given that google did not share their previous models like image and as well but this is what we have got but at least we have got a new idea i hope that somebody would take this idea and build an open source model and share the weights with us so that the community can benefit from that so to start with first of all how does stable diffusion work stable diffusion is a diffusion based model as you can see that it has got this noise then it has got this image and then they try to denoise and predict the image so that is the model of stable diffusion and you can see that you have got noise first and then you try to predict the image and that is how you create a text to image generation so that's how stable diffusion works unlike that muse works on a totally entirely different architecture and they call it masked generative architecture so what happens here with muse you give a text prompt and that text prompt first is text encoded and then a low resolution image is given and then the high resolution image is given so there are now two tokenizers vq gan tokenizers two independent one is a low resolution image tokenizer the second one is a high resolution image vq gan tokenizer so now what these tokenizers are going to do is they're going to create masks on the token so you can see that from this image they are going to create some masks here and there and you can also see they are going to create some masks now what they are training is they are training a model to use this mask and then reconstruct the mist or the masked tokens so you can see that here you can see like just for an example illustrated example the second square here is available and the first square is kind of masked so you can see how this is being reconstructed here the same way you can see this image and then you can see the result so you have one text prompt you have one low resolution input image you have one high resolution input image so now the text embedding and the two networks of vq gan all together this model is trained to predict the masked tokens and conditioned on the unmasked tokens and the text embedding so like given the unmasked tokens and given the text embeddings this model predicts the mass token and because of that muse claims to be faster than stable diffusion or any diffusion based models so as you can see it says compared to pixel space diffusion models such as imagen and dali they, they didn't mention stable diffusion i don't understand even imagen I, I, i don't understand why would they compare it with imagen even the mo model is not open source but anyways it's google so compared to these pixel space diffusion models muse is significantly more efficient due to the use of discrete tokens requiring few sample iterations also compared to ar auto regressive models such as such as party which is another model that google did not open source muse is more efficient due to the parallel decoding if we see the actual benchmarks you can see that stable diffusion 1.4 like what they are saying is the best reported inference time for a 512 by 512 image is 3.7 seconds and muse 3 billion model 512 by 512 is 1.3 seconds and 256 by 256 is just 0.5 seconds for one image i mean this is like mind blowing numbers but like i said these are just mind blowing numbers on a paper this is not a model that has been shared for anybody to try so you never know what is actually happening unless until you try it out so now let's get into the model uh, we we learned about the model architecture a little bit like quick overview now let's see how it looks so what caught me what caught my attention about this model particularly is the way it does certain things that existing models do not do well and one other thing is text so i have been always fascinated or interested looking at different text the models so here you can see wombat 
So it says high contrast image of the word wombat and then it actually writes the word without making gibberish. And again, this is a 3 billion, 3 billion parameter model. I don't know how the models with lower parameter would work, but this is doing a really good job in text rendering. As you can see, this is doing a really, really good job in text rendering. And the other examples are like another important aspect that have been discussed with respect to stable diffusion and dolly models are they, they're not good at handling numbers. Like for example, if you say something as three, they don't do three. If you say something as two, they don't do two. But here you can see the prompt is two baseballs to the left of three tennis ball. And you can literally see number two base balls, like two base balls of count and three tennis balls. And that is again, like you can see three elephants standing on top of each other. You can see three elephants. I am super impressed the way they are handling text and then the way they are handling numbers. It could be also due to the advantage of this new architecture called masked generative transformers because this is not at a pixel level. This is not a text level. They're actually using the text embedding from a large language model. So the advantages of large language model could could be, you know, something that is available here. But overall, I'm super impressed with the images that are generated here. So as you can see, they've said this is 1.3 seconds um, inference for a 512 by 512 Im image on a TPU V4. So it's on TPU again, like it's not, it's not a GPU. So as you can see, uh, the images are quite good. The details are really good. Uh, it, it has got all kinds of images. I don't see human images. I don't do how well it does realistic images, but again, the images that are shown here look really good. Two cats, they have got two cats. Um, the numbers are good. The text is good. Now, another interesting aspect is the in painting or out painting also happens from the same model in itself. So they're saying that our model gives us mask based editing for free in painting. Around. So you don't need a separate model altogether because mask based editing is equivalent to generation. So you can just literally mask and then you can replace that with something else. Like for example, original with a mask and then this is updated. You can just say hot air balloon and then you got hot air balloon and original with mask here. This is the entire mask like this. The center is unmasked. This is the entire mask and all it says is beautiful fall foliage. The gazebo is on a lake and then you can see it's now the entire thing like there is a lake here. The, there is no lawn. The pictures like everything looks the outside looks good. I mean, you can now compare with the lighting here and there, but still it it is quite good uh, in what is it is doing. So that's that's it. That's it. What I wanted to cover, co cover in this video, you can see that it does text really well. And that's exactly what they've highlighted as well. Like they want to say they want to show that it does text well, but without the model available for everybody to test and use, we do not know how well it is. I don't know what they are waiting for, like given that we have got huge amount of stable diffusion model and then there there are, there are new stable diffusion fine tuned models every day. I don't know what they are waiting for, but they must have some strategy. Of course, they're Google, right? But as you can see, this model is something that I'm really looking forward to see if it can, if it gets open source. And this is an entirely new architecture as well, a different approach from what stable diffusion models, a DALI kind of diffusion models have been doing. So really looking forward to see what community does with this new architecture called masked generative transformers. That's it in this video about a Muse text to image generation from Google research. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, see you in the next video.